Okay, welcome back to your tale multiverse still flying in Nudibranchia. <clears throat> Saving the multiverse. Because that's the kind of people we are, I guess. Um So this is gonna be a big fight. And uh, I think there's another sector after this too. If I have the cache, you can see the dreadnought looming in the distance, though it is too far away to make out its features. As expected, it would be impossible to access the cache, which resembles a gigantic vault sculpted to the side of the planet without eliminating the ship. Yeah, you might observe the dreadnought seeming yet afraid, big ship, but still nothing compared to the ones you'll see in the home world. So let's, this will be a test to see if we're ready for what's to come. Worst case, we die. No big deal. There you go. Fight the dreadnought. Alright, let's deploy the SB. I'll show you what to do this creates friendly SB, yes. And it's so much more reliable than the Captain's Edition's one. <laughs> Which half of the time spent nope, sorry. Granted, being able to just call an ASB on every fight is a bit powerful, so I'm not too surprised that uh, it wasn't a guarantee to work every single time. Again, no engines. Uh, your artillery is pretty high. Did we get hit? I still managed to board us. Shields is annoying, but they don't have much in the way of weapons left, so I will try and take out the drones here. If the ASB would be so kind to hit a room with a system in that league around as well. Now we're done. Don't the dreadnought is dead. This is beyond incredible. You flimsy mortal creatures may not be so pathetic after all. Oh, thanks. All that's left is to grab the parts and destroy the cache. Perhaps do so, but scrap the dreadnought first. It takes a few tries to get the vault door open, but once you manage to burst the hole inside, a brilliant light shines through. There's a giant gigantic cavern filled with chips, repair drones, weapons, and supplies. A few things catch your eye, including the largest present, the cruiser you suspect. So there's many explosives around the vault to explode all at once, and as fast as possible, put a safe distance between yourself and the cache, watch the fireworks. You can feed the flagship as well, you'll have saved reality twice. Yay! Reality saving. I need to see if you are capable of making the um feel about dispersal. It's not a big deal, but you know if you can make it. I'm assuming that's gonna be under on Medbay? Medbot stimulants. Yeah, let's make it. Overdrive. Uh, I need three engine performance. Nope. Overcharger. No. I 
fights take a while here, so uh, it's probably a good idea not to. Poor control. Sure. Sure. I suppose this is better for me to do this. Because you're a better fighter than he is. The brain leave a squadron of other ships approaches, drawn by the explosion. You're led by a royal ship whose captain hails you. You have destroyed the cache, you filthy mortal insect. You will suffer for this. You shrug and flick the weapons in their direction. None of the obelisk squadron dares mess with the ship that killed the dreadnought. And so they quickly jump away, presumably to homeworlds, to spread the news of your approach. Ian White is very pleased. Don't worry about the fleet. The homeworlds are already on high alert anyway, so we must quickly... We must move quickly. We need to head to our base and construct the bomb. Better the homeworld directly grab hold on something again. Try not to black out. Don't tell me what to do. This time you find yourself at least leading against the wall. Most of the other crew did better as well. And as always, Ain Wyth is completely unfazed. We're here. Unfortunately, resistance has managed to take out the guard already and blockade the sector. Now let's get this bomb built. You dock with one of the nearby obelisk ships with Ain Wyth assures you have been captured by his people already. You introduce to several other obelisks that look identical to each other with various names you cannot pronounce. Ain Wyth looks around as if looking for someone cut scene to find them. Ain Wyth ignores you but talks to one of the other obelisk where's E. E. The obelisk responds she was taken by the Queen. Wallace heard of her betrayal and there was little we could do. The dreadnought is back online. Who's E and there's a second dreadnought? Yes. Ta-da! In a pauses, 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 and you assume he would have sighed he had lungs. He's the prince of the obelisk royals. Don't mind a single letter name, that's just how royals name themselves. For simplicity, I guess, or maybe the memes. Yes, the memes. Anyway, it doesn't matter. He's a royal, only royal amongst our resistance and the only person who can build the bomb. Now she's been taken, even worse, the royals do in fact have an even stronger dreadnought protecting. Yeah, that. So the alarm. The fleet ship goes off, a squadron of okay, fleets jump in, immediately open fire on the obelisk, you know, the curse is damning it. The rebels got through, it was only a matter of time, which evacuated immediately, we'll group at the palace and rescue E, finish this bomb and then purge the entire sector to its core. Well, that didn't take them long. Leaving the MFK gunboat, they stop you, you're that multiverse renegade that led us here, you died today. Oh, you're welcome! <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, we have fuel, we have drone parts. Maybe we're not looking for crew kills anymore, so let's use the ASB. Oh, you piece of garbage. Well, it's bound to the system, right? Come on! I know we can hit both of these. Eh, fine, whatever. Oh, we can just one shot them, I guess. See, one last match from the Royal Captain as the ship dies, god dang you. You might survive today, but Vance will catch you soon enough and it'll make your lives hell. 
Come by the way, there doesn't appear to be any other ships around that aren't already occupied and able to fight you. In the short grace period, anyone speaks again. Good. Must hurry to mip and rescue. Eee! Be careful. Now we don't need only have the rebel royals to deal with, but the rebels too. Yeah, well, what the heck? This beacon had an ancient drone. Now it's I don't care about the shop too much. Oh, I do care, but it's dark blue. You didn't expect to see the augmented so far into Alpha's territory, but it seems you've run into one of the ships. Fortunately, it's much more aggressive than any of the ones you encounter in the side. Yeah, okay. Uh, you're not that bad. Go try to Kruka for all time's sake, but yeah, we got bigger fish to fry now, right? Saving the multiverse! Being one of those things. Uh, we can go check up on the merchant, I guess. I think we have a few missiles to spend on them. Palm around when the beacon come face to face with a strange obelisk autodrone. Vast different from the others you encountered thus far. It bears colors and weapons that you haven't seen before. It seems incredibly damaged with parts of the internal system explosion twisted. Strange, it seems to hail you. Hey, buddy. Ship blares a mix of static and what could barely be considered words in a loop lasting around 10 seconds or so. Whatever it's trying to tell you, it's being lost among all the noise. Not just that, but the little... Not just that, but the little that actually sounds like language seems to be some kind of incredibly old form of obeliskian. Way too old for your modern translators to pick up. Could install a runic translator and hope to make sense of this junk, but it would require a bit of scrap. We already have a translator. Decode what the drone is saying. Turn on your runic translator and wait to see what it can decode. When the ship noise are fully translated, you realize it's some kind of mobile weapon and drone factory. An incredible piece of technology that was no doubt used extensively during the Obelisk War all these years ago. You might be able to still make you might be able to still make use of its incredible factory, but it seems that even though the ship is barely able to stay together, its security systems are still working. You should be able to hack them, however that will take some time. Until then you would need to be careful not to destroy the ship, otherwise any hopes of acquiring special weapons would be destroyed. Use your main hacking system to speed up the hacking process. Much more advanced onboard hacking system makes quick work of the firewall without any issues. It's even locked common buff guardian cruiser quest. When ship's firewall fails, it suddenly goes inert, allowing it to interact with the forge itself. It's unfortunately heavily damaged from all the years of disrepair. You can only make a single weapon or drone for the mighty other ship's systems give out and the whole thing collapses. Luckily the hacking also revealed the blueprints for a very advanced ship. Let's see what better drone we want the factory to make. Holy hell, look at this thing. Commonwealth Plasma Cannon. <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> we can make Jeff. Oh my god, look at all this stuff. Holy crud. Alright, let's have a look at these things. Four power, six shots. Okay, not horrible. Plasma cannon. Is there anything in here that's only two power that would be grand, but... I have a version of the conventional phaser weapon. This weapon can't do any other amounts of damage indirectly while dealing any redemption in my hull. Uh, two shots. What's so great about this thing then? It's not even accurate. 
Switch bomb launch watch hold anything you need. Okay, so this is just a fancy pants ion bomb. Heavy Harbinger. Hybrid of a flag gun, ion weapon, and a heavy laser. This weapon shoots multiple rounds of ionized projectiles. It takes five power, though. Fascinating beam weapon that trades some of its potential damage for ion damage. Absorb version of traditional pinpoint weaponry, though instead of damaging enemy hull, it will instead repair it without dealing any damage to the enemy systems. Extremely harmful to enemy crew. Mm. Novelty of a missile weapon not only does it shoot multiple payloads in a flak like fashion, but these payloads also deal heavy ion damage. We have 89 missiles. Either that or the beam, I think. Three shots, does it fire in a radius? Yeah, but it's a small one. One damage, one system damage, two ion damage. Yeah, let's get this thing. We won't use it yet, we'll uh, save that bad boy for the flagship, I would say. That thing won't know what hit it. This is a massive obelisk fleet ship, armed with an artillery that looks large enough to punch a hole through a planet. Whenever scans show and rest inside the vessel is scared, the ship won't pose a threat to you at this current moment, but do you wish to... Yeah, sure. Under Hangar Bay, if I surprise you empty of any crew, though plenty of obelisk vessels remain. A loud alarm rings through the ship, signifying days, even if you can't see it. Don't take too long to find where all the crew has went. Imagine breaching one of the ships. I sucked out a good portion of them and vacuumed the entire northern portion of the ship. Avoid the vented area and head to the control room where you find a royal combating a cognitive for control of the ship. There's only one royal on our side, that's E, so we shoot the royal. You blast the obelisk right inside, enough to stun it until the cognitive can blast with a bolt of energy, killing the royal on impact. Your efforts of defending me are recognized for what purpose have you chosen to do so? Because I just said so. <laughs> Sure. Purpley. Down, you douche. Okay, that's unfortunate. Um, have we hacked? No, so we have to combat their hacking, I'm afraid. Oh, 
Oh, just a casual 10 system damage, you know. B, whenever you're ready, feel free to, you know, do something useful for us. Tried. Well, vessel has been defeated. Describe the ship while you watch the captured vessel jump away. Alright. Oh, that's another one of these. What's the difference? This one has the ion damage, okay. Fighter or a repair? Repair. Oh, no, a fighter. Hmm. Close if you want to check out Sylvan. For once, a royal ship in the same system as you isn't looking for a fight, at least not immediately. Instead, they hail you with an offer. I'm a collector and I'm fancy to say some of the more exotic race of your mortal plane. Please come aboard, maybe you'll find one of my collections you'd like for your own. Perhaps you'll be willing to give me one of yours for healthy compensation. Lanius Welder. Temporarily moves extremely slowly but rapidly drains oxygen. Hmm. We could use a repair. Let's see, if we go here, to here, here, to here, to here, yeah. Sorry, Sylvan, but. Uh, Approaching me, you're not then telling him you can't blast the crowd without going. Okay, this is a meme, isn't it? One of the meme things I've heard so much about.
Your drone is bad and you should feel bad. Yeah, how's that for a meme? Well, it means you must not be aware of yeah, yeah. That's what the last guy said. Look how far he got. Okay, do we have the defense scrambler? Yes, <laughs> we have it. I was have to get there still from somewhere, so it makes sense when you see an MFK ship attack and obelisk transport. Seems even the obelisk can't match with these rebels. Maybe you can assist them. Yeah, sure. Right, you should be firing at all times. Not the doors, God. Anyway. CDSB uh, finally partaking in what it is supposed to be doing. What is this? The Bone Puppet have saved us. Remarkable. Are you creatures in need of weapon or are you glad to you even if you are mortals? Two nearby ships are in a firefight, turn appearing to be rebel, the other obelisk. Cover scans on both turn up interesting results. The rebel ship is staffed by several recognizable Federation officers, and the obelisk vessel appears to be part of a North resistance. Maybe you convince them not to fight. Yeah, sure. Fire the ASB! Again, this thing should just be on auto fire at the start. Casual six shields, because you know. Probably to offset the uh, one point in engines. I guess if you look at it that way, it kind of works, right? Mm -hmm. 
Peter the ship, you scrub your remains. Contact the obelisks. Mortals most wonderful, may fortune shine upon us all. These rebels must have taken what little hope we had. And I fear a little chance of surviving if I stay on my ship. Perhaps I should join yours. No, I don't think you will. Anyway, that is going to do it for this episode, though. Thanks for watching up the series. See you guys all next episode. Bye, everyone.